Um, she's dead. Ray J was the last person to see her alive. He let the drug dealer in, but she was sober, right? I've been through a lot in these past two weeks. I'm able to look at life in a, in a whole different way. She passed away. I said, my God, somebody gave her a bad bag. I promise you, that was the first thing that came out of my mouth. And then I saw Ray J and it all added up. So it looks like the rumors about Ray J being behind Whitney Houston's death might be true after all, because he just attempted to unalive himself because of the guilt that he'd been feeling. Not only that, but he also just had a major mental breakdown and revealed that he's been receiving money from some elites in the industry to keep certain details about Whitney's death a secret and that the people who paid him to keep his mouth shut are now after his life. He even directed a cryptic message to his sister Brandy about how he will only be at peace once he's gone. Brandy was actually one of the first people to discover Whitney's body, and according to sources, Brandy always suspected that Ray J had something to do with it, but she didn't want to speak on it because that's her brother. In fact, there's a viral video of Whitney giving Brandy a secret letter shortly before she died, and apparently, that letter contained details about how Ray J was in cahoots with Clive Davis and some other people in the industry to her. Chell, I never thought we would see the day that Ray J would finally tell us about his involvement in all this, but it looks like that time is here and he is not holding back anymore. But before we get into the details of all this, let me give y'all a little bit of context as to how things got this bad in the first place and why Ray J is even being accused of being behind Whitney's death at all. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, Whitney and Ray J were actually messing around with each other just a few months before her death in the this relationship had everybody in an uproar because of the massive age gap between them. Ray J was 31 and Whitney was 48. They never actually came out to confirm the relationship, but they were spotted out a lot. And that was more than enough for people to conclude that they had something romantic going on. They were initially seen everywhere together, including going to clubs and dinner dates. But even aside from the 17 year old age gap between them, another thing that really worried people when it came to Ray J dating Whitney were the rumors about him encouraging Whitney's addiction and supplying her with more coke than she really ever needed. At the time of their relationship, Whitney was already struggling with substance addiction. This was one of the most talked about things whenever she appeared up in interviews. And I reverted back as I got older and said, well, I'm just gonna party, you know? It was kind of a rebel in me, you know? Whitney dying, rehab fails. First of all, let's get one thing straight. It's cheap. I make too much money to ever smoke. Let's get that straight, okay? We don't do We don't do that. It's whack. Is it alcohol? Is it marijuana? Is it, is it pills? It has been, at times. All? At times. If you had to name the devil for you, the biggest devil among them? That would be me. It's my deciding. It's my heart. It's what I want and what I don't want. Nobody makes me do anything I don't want to do. It's my decision. So the biggest devil is me. I mean, either my best friend or my worst enemy. And that's how I have to deal with it. But now do you say, not at all, or do you say, I can... Well, I'm not gonna tell you that. I could tell you that. I am not self-destructive. I'm not a person who wants to die. I'm a person who has life and wants to live. Unfortunately, Whitney was never able to shake off this addiction, and on February 11, 2012, she was reported dead. Apparently, she lost her life to an accidental drowning in a bathtub at a Beverly Hills hotel shortly before the Clive Davis pre-Grammy party. A lot of people immediately questioned this report, but it only got worse after the coroner who was in charge of investigating the case, Ed Winter, released his report a month after Whitney's passing. The report revealed that Whitney had a load of substances shoved into her body just before her death, including marijuana 
uh, Xanax, Benadryl, and other undisclosed medication. Ed Winter also fueled the allegations about Whitney possibly being drowned by somebody in the bathtub when he said that despite there being a whole load of substances in her body, it wasn't enough for her to lose control and accidentally drown. In fact, Ed specifically said that Whitney was still alive and breathing at the time that she submerged in the water. He said, there was water found in her lungs that indicated to us that she was alive when she was submerged underwater. According to our tests, the level of cocaine was not necessarily a lethal level, but her death was complicated by chronic cocaine use and heart disease. She could have passed out due to the intoxication from the cocaine, or she could have had a heart attack and then drowned. It's probably one of those scenarios. Prescription pill bottles were found in her room, but the number of pills weren't alarming enough to kill her. The report from the coroner ultimately turned this whole case around and made people start suspecting if Whitney's death was actually a murder case. At the time of Whitney's death, it was also reported that her assistant was the one who found her. But according to Jaguar Wright, it was actually Brandy. And Jaguar was not lying when she said this, because according to witnesses who were present at the scene of Whitney's death, Brandy was already there crying hysterically before the police got there. This was confirmed by fitness model Timothy Dance, who said Brandy just was pretty much by herself, standing, crying. There were people standing away from her. I was expecting to see Ray J, but obviously he was still in the room, maybe. Now, ain't it real interesting how Ray J left the scene of Whitney's murder so fast, even after people literally saw him there? Well, according to the sister of Whitney's ex-husband, Bobby Brown, she literally knew Ray J had something to do with Whitney's death the moment he was caught by paparazzi secretly sneaking out of the hotel and hiding his face from the cameras. She even went as far as flat out accusing him of supplying Whitney with the drugs the night she died. I first seen this and I saw the news and I saw, I, and I'm sorry, please excuse me, I just have to come out and say this. Please. I saw Ray J coming out of the hotel, hiding his head, being pushed into the car. Why? I looked and I said, why is he hiding? Why is he hiding his face? He's always trying to show his face. For some reason, or he knows somebody, somebody that sells and he was buying them for Whitney, from what I know, and giving her I want to know why this boy was allowed to do that. Remember how I earlier said that Jaguar also accused Ray of having a hand in Whitney's death? Jaguar also spilled some tea about the alleged defense wounds that were found on Whitney's body. And some people believe Whitney sustained those injuries while fighting off the person who unalived her. When they did her autopsy, they said there was nothing wrong with her throat. She, her lungs were so damaged that she couldn't fuel the notes. It was her lungs. It wasn't. Her voice was fine. Oh. That's that's how that's how Clive did it. And then the next thing you know, she's Ray J. And yeah, that, then yeah, it's that Grammy happened. time. That happened. And her and Clive had a fight two days before. Mm -hmm. And from what I was told, Bobby Christina was present for some of that fight. And then the next thing you know, um, she's dead. Ray J was the last person to see her alive. He let the dealer in, but she was sober, right? But he let the dealer in that gave it a shot. Leola has said, Leola Brown, Bobby Brown's sister, has said on several occasions that her she was mm. They saw her body. She didn't just die in a tub, like she was up. And Brandy was the one that found her. But you know, they they pledge allegiance to yeah. Clive too. Jeez. Well, you know, Ray J was kind of down on his luck because the whole bullshit. It happened and then, you know, Whitney was dead and he was using her as he's said himself for clout and then all of a sudden he got love and hip hop. LA after Whitney died. And then they inappropriately put her stupid goddaughter on there. Uh yeah.
I, I, I just thought it was all kind of cheesy. Just in case y'all think Jaguar was just making stuff up, the coroner's report actually backed up everything she said and even went into the details about the defense wounds that Jaguar was talking about. Whitney was found face down in a water-filled bath with two superficial abrasions to the left side of her forehead. She was also found with a purge coming from her nose and with a superficial abrasion to the left side of the bridge of her nose. This right here proves that Whitney did not just die by accident. She was in that bathroom fighting for her life. Those are obviously defense wounds that she acquired trying to fight off the person who unalived her. But anyways, going back to Brandy, she became a centerpiece in this whole situation when somebody leaked a video of Whitney crushing an interview that she was having with Monica and Clive Davis and secretly giving her a letter just two days before she died. In the video, Clive looked real disturbed when he saw Whitney hand him Brandy this letter. But Brandy immediately took it and held it tightly, even though she was looking real confused as to why Whitney would sneak her a letter into her hands like that too. Now, Brandy never opened up about what exactly was in that letter, but it's been alleged for some time now that Whitney was asking her for help because she knew they was trying to take her out. This also explains why Brandy was one of the first people to show up in Whitney's room when she died and why she was crying uncontrollably. Now, as for Ray J, it looks like the guilt has been eating him up for quite some time, and he even went as far as to confessing to being behind Whitney's death. Yeah, y'all heard that right. Back in 2017, he revealed in an interview that everything that happened to Whitney that night was all his fault, and that one day he was gonna come out and tell everybody what he did. I had so many people calling me, offering me millions of dollars to have an interview. I was like, I don't need the money. It's not good money. That's just not right. My karma would be bad. Nobody can explain. It's all my fault. All that happened, it's all my fault. Now, even though Ray J is still yet to come out and actually tell us everything he did and how it's his fault that Whitney died, he recently had some social media outbursts in which he recently revealed that he's planning to take his own life and that some of the people he's been receiving payments from to keep his dirty secrets in the industry are now coming after him. He went on this rant after a video of him acting up and getting into a physical altercation at Glorilla's BET after party with the executive of Zeus Network, Lemon Pepper. After this incident and a few punches to the face, he jumped on his IG story. And that's when he spilled all the tea about all his dark secrets he'd been keeping and how it's people coming after his life. He said, the ish that's happening is mind blowing. It's making me subtle and uncomfortable with the perception of reality. They paid me to shut up and I did. I feel bad and I hate myself for it. I don't want any more of your dirty money. Then it all went bad. First at BET and then later on too. I'm really at a breaking point. To provide for my family and have generational wealth was always the plan. But money is evil and people are bad and I can't take it anymore. Those chain of reactions are stemming from being locked in a false reality, confused about this whole life. The ish that happened tonight to me at the awards today was hurtful. I'm working backstage and then I go take a break in the back and BET wouldn't let me back in for some reason. I don't know who they didn't want me to see. It was weird. He then directed a message directly to Brandy that said, right after I die, I promise you, I will be free of all of it and the world can move on with what is real for me. He wrote, I'm sorry to myself and my sister. Sorry, Brandy, I will make it right. I won't let them get away with it. I told the people close to me that I felt like something is about to happen. F it, I said it. So as y'all can see, Ray J is deeply linked to Whitney's death and he knows a lot more than he's actually revealed. Unfortunately for him, everything is catching up to him. And in no time, he'll have to start talking and telling us everything he knows. What's even worse is that Whitney isn't the only one he has messed up. He's also apparently tied to Whitney Williams' illness. And word on the street is, he got her hooked on to trigger her illness and get her locked up in a facility because she knew too much about the industry. As usual, people had their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, he deserves what's coming to him. He did bad to Whitney, Wendy, and Tierra Marie. Justice for these women. Another person said, Brandy knows exactly what happened. I would not be surprised if she's also a part of Whitney's death. 
She probably didn't want to be down with it though. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Ray J getting exposed for being linked to Whitney's death? And do y'all think Brandy knew about his connections to everything all this time? Y'all then knew what to do? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.